Hello and welcome back. Today we're reacting to some more Kurz Gesagt. Today we've got You Are Immune to Every Disease. I am? Huh. Let's find out how, why, and also, why can I still get diseases if I'm immune? Let's jump right in. You're not a person. You're a planet made of roughly 40 trillion cells. Way to call me fat. There is so much of you that if your cells were human sized, you'd be as big as 20 Mount Everest. Ooh. For your creepy crawly inhabitants, Why? this makes your body an Why up ecosystem, the nose? rich in resources and warmth and space. A perfect place to move into and have a family. While some of these guests are welcome, move into most me. are not. Your Weird. immune system is the guardian of this planet the force tasked with protecting yourself against the constant danger of invasion. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the planetary your defense in the tiny world have a huge advantage. What's that? Dun, dun, dun. Let's learn. Consider Stop the effort it. it takes to make a single copy of yourself and your trillions of cells. First, you need to find someone oh, who thinks you're cute, I love date dance. and be awkward, and if things work out in a complicated dance, two of your cells merge together. Dating sucks! Then you need to wait for months while the cell multiplies over and over until it's released into the world as a human being. And it's even that then, simple, guys. you only have a mini copy that needs years to become remotely useful. A bacterium consists of one cell. It can make a fully grown copy in about half an hour. <laughs> a virus can turn into hundreds within hours and billions within days. Wow. Your enemies multiply orders of magnitude faster than you. Even worse, for a bacterium or virus, your body is a hostile ecosystem applying selective pressure. Mm -hmm. Because they go through so many generations so quickly, eventually they by evolve chance, and adapt. There will be an individual that mutates and adapts in just the right way to resist it makes sense. and then multiply quickly again. In other words, you're facing a sheer endless variety of different enemies, and you're too slow to keep up with their evolution. And ours takes this generations to adapt, right? Luckily, your immune system is just about the most amazing thing ever. <laughs> the second most complex biological system known to us after the human brain. That's what and I thought. so sophisticated that we still haven't discovered all its secrets. Since it's so complicated, we have to simplify and focus on one thing at a time. Please. If you want the full story, wait for the announcement at the end of the video. Okay, so why are we not all killed by some new bacteria? I saw that they virus? had a book. I should In a buy nutshell, it. You actually have two immune systems, the innate and the adaptive immune system. Okay, I did the not know that. The immune system was ready when you were born. It mostly consists of general purpose soldiers. We introduced them in the last immune video. Okay. The adaptive immune system carries two types of cells, T cells and B cells, that are your super weapons and are incredibly effective and deadly for your enemies. Mr. T cells. These cells are complicated to produce and take a lot of time to deploy, but once they're ready, they pack a real punch. Mm -hmm. What makes your adaptive immune system so powerful is that it has the largest library in the universe. It has an answer to everything. How? You have at least one of these super weapon cells inside you to fight the Black Death, the coronavirus, and the first deadly bacteria that will emerge in a city on Mars in 100 years. What? This makes it possible for you to counter the ability of bacteria How? and viruses to change so rapidly. How? How is this That doesn't possible? make sense. To understand what's going on here, we need to take one step back. All organisms on Earth are made from the same basic parts, mostly proteins. Proteins yeah, okay. are the building blocks of life and can have billions of different shapes. You can imagine them as 3D puzzle pieces. Mm -hmm. There are billions of different puzzle pieces sort of like a language, can use right? to construct their bodies. Why is this important? Because proteins are, in a way, the language of the micro world. Ah! Cells don't have eyes or ears, so to tell friend from foe, they have to touch them and recognize if their protein is part of a friend or part of an enemy. Good day, sir. Recognizing means that cells have countless tiny devices called receptors that are able to connect with a specific protein puzzle piece. So your cells have tiny puzzle pieces on their outsides that are able to click together. The world is so complicated. So crazy. 
I mean, just the complexity at the tiniest scales and then think of how much that there is of that. What? Or recognize other protein puzzle pieces. When a cell connects together with a protein and recognizes it as enemy, it knows that it has to attack. Only mm -hmm. if your cells can make this distinction between friend or foe is your immune system able to fight an invader. That makes sense. But since there are billions of possible protein puzzle pieces, this means there are billions of possible enemy puzzle pieces. This is also one of the reasons we still have to deal with diseases like the flu each year. The mm -hmm. influenza virus mutates very rapidly, and so the proteins that make up its hull constantly change a tiny bit. Yeah, yeah, the that makes sense. The of your innate immune system have a large number of the puzzle pieces for common bacteria and viruses memorized. And that's what they do with the vaccines, right? Is they basically take their best guess at what they think is the most likely strain of flu for that year. And that's what they vaccinate against, right? I'm pretty sure that's the case. It's an educated guess because it's constantly just evolving and mutating. That's why they are your all-purpose weapons. But they are ineffective against many billions of mutations and adaptations that your enemies can develop. So the reason you are still alive is that your adaptive immune system is able to recognize between 1 billion and 10 billion different enemy protein <laughs> puzzle pieces, which is enough to be prepared for every possible enemy. But well, thank you, immune possible? system. How could your immune system possibly have this much of a variety to be prepared for every possible protein puzzle piece? Living is my favorite well, thing to do. the cells of your adaptive immune system found a cheat code, mixing and matching their own genetic code to create this stunning variety of receptors. Hmm. The details are way too complicated for this video, but in a nutshell, your adaptive immune cells have official permission to take a tiny part of their own genetic code and mix it in random ways to create billions of different receptors. A good way to explain this is by asking you to imagine an army of cooks, with each of them wanting their own special recipe. Yeah, okay. They have 100 different ingredients to choose from. Each ingredient stands for one tiny piece of genetic code in this metaphor. Okay. So each cook takes a few random ingredients and randomly mixes them together. Maybe tomato, chicken, rice, and half an onion as entree, marshmallow, pepper, strawberries, and a quarter banana as a dessert. Why or pepper? cucumber, beef, potatoes, and two carrots, and blueberries, chocolate, and cream with a pinch of cinnamon. Even with slight variation and with only 100 ingredients, there are billions of possible recipes. Yeah. And likewise, with just a small selection of gene fragments, your cells create billions of receptors. The details of this are so cool that they should get their own video or hmm. their own chapter in a book. In any ah, case, by mixing wink. up gene fragments, <laughs> you get up to 10 billion different combinations. Wow. So in the end, you get billions of immune cells and each of them has one specific and unique receptor. Really? The dish from our metaphor that is able to recognize one specific protein puzzle piece. That's insane. In total, you end up with at least one cell for every enemy that could possibly exist. But here we run into a pretty dangerous problem. If your adaptive immune system is making weapons that can attack every possible protein puzzle piece in the universe, wouldn't it mm. also make some that can attack your own cells? Friendly fire! Yes, it happens all the time. This is so fundamentally dangerous to your survival that you have a whole organ that does nothing but work on preventing this. What? The murder university of your thymus. The thymus? Your thymus is a chicken wing sized organ above your heart, and you've probably never heard of it. I don't think I have. Your thymus is one of the reasons why your immune <laughs> system weakens as you age, because it's in a constant state of decline once you reach puberty. Oh. But what does the thymus do? In your murder university, your immune system is putting your adaptive immune cells through an intense and deadly curriculum. Okay. Basically, it's showing them all sorts of protein puzzle pieces that are used by your own cells to see how they react. When a young cell recognizes a body puzzle piece and wants to attack it, the teacher's cells order them to kill themselves and they are eaten up and recycled. Ah, the okay. immune system is so particular about this process that around 98% of your adaptive immune cells that enter Murder University die there. Wow. 2% graduate That's a lot. and get to do their job of protecting you for real. If this process goes wrong and the cells escape that can recognize your own protein puzzle pieces, You're this can lead to screwed. autoimmune disease, 
where your immune system attacks your own body from the inside. Mm -hmm. And this, again, is another story for another time. Okay. How do you overcome that? Your immune if system that happens has two to you, parts. is that just one death? That defends you right after birth, and one that carries the largest library of superweapons in the universe, but needs to boot up first. Mm. To create billions of different oh, super weapons, oh, that's why your babies are more cells recombine a part susceptible, of right? To create a okay. breathtaking variety Small of children. Weapons. Then they enter a murder university that only two percent survive in your to thymus. make sure they don't attack you. And then you end like up with billions of different here? cells that in total are able to protect you against oh, every never heard of enemy in that the universe. Organ. Now, wait a second. If this is all true, why do we get sick at all? Yeah. Why was a new disease like COVID-19 able to kill millions of people? And mm -hmm. how do vaccines boost the mechanisms we explained in this video to supercharge your immune system and defend you from the worst diseases humanity has ever encountered, from yes. smallpox to COVID-19? Well, everything we've just learned about is a tiny, tiny window into the amazing struggle for life and death that plays out every day inside your body, and there are so many amazing details and questions here. How does your body actually find the right cell in time to protect you? How I think I might actually know a tiny bit about this from previous videos, and my understanding is that basically when it's called for help and those cells come out and they start trying to attach to everything, if they are used, then they're kind of put in like a quick save area where they can be referenced again really quickly in the future, right? So next time you get sick, those ones are used first. Finding the right one can take time. Getting the right one to the proper part of your body can take time. Uh, I think we're talking in order of days. So it takes time. And uh, yeah, sometimes you don't have that much time. How do your enemies fight back and overcome your immune system anyway? And what about all the things that didn't fit in this video? Well, today finally marks the release of Immune, a journey into the mysterious system that keeps you alive. I should buy that book. I would definitely be interested in reading it. I, I might pick that up actually as a little gift to myself. I love these guys' immune videos. It's just so awe-inspiring our immune system's amazing it's crazy it just blows my mind that we're so complicated inside and as they said we're only talking about the second most complex we're not even talking about the number one which is our brain how what <laughs> how is everything this complex jeez anyway i learned a lot from this video i these guys always do such a great job uh, the music, the narration, the storyline, they add personality into it. They educate you without making it too complicated, which is sometimes hard to do. But they also get the points across. Bravo, Chris Gazak. You guys are awesome. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.